Hi, this is Dar from the Dar Walden team. Thank you for joining this week on my video blog. This video is going to be about um, springtime. It's that time of the year and uh, we typically experience often a lot of um, water issues. And hopefully by now um, we've had so many tragic roof collapses. I'm assuming by now most people who needed to shovel the roofs have shoveled them. If not, it's still probably a good idea to do it to get that weight off the roof. But more importantly, we're going to talk about um, water in the crawl space. And this is always the time of the year that I get multiple calls from clients that have purchased homes throughout the year. Usually their first year in a home and they're, they're taken back and like, oh my God, I have an ocean underneath my, in my crawl space. Some things that you can do to help prevent problems and be proactive rather than reactive is to crawl it down into your crawl space and make sure that your um, a sump pump is working. Do a test run on it. Sometimes what can happen when they set there, they get uh, gravel or dirt in the float and it causes the, the a sump pump to malfunction. You also want to make sure that the water is being carried out away from the foundation of the house. Most of the time you'll see a pipe coming out the side of a house with a sump pump, probably five to anywhere from five to 10 feet. Um, it's just got to be away from the foundation. Make sure your visqueen barrier is well taped down. It keeps that moisture from seeping up into the um, crawl space also. And then the third thing is real common is those darn downspouts, your gutter downspouts that turn away from the house. Those things are always in the way. People take them off because they're frustrating at best. Um, if you've taken them off, make sure you put them back on. And if you don't have them, you need to go buy them. And I'd even recommend getting a splash block to put underneath it. Though that water coming down off that roof as things start to melt uh, goes straight down into the foundation and you will end up with water seeping through your cement blocks even though they're, they are sealed but over years that starts to fail and you will end up with you know ruined either water in the basement or ruined sheetrock and, and mold. So please uh, double check that to make sure that you've got everything set up. And keep in mind contractors, ever since COVID, contractors have been hard to come by and often if something does go wrong it's going to take you several days to get a contractor out there so by far better to be proactive than reactive if there's anything i can help you with give us a call here at the dar walden team we're happy to to help you you can reach us at 907-240-2804 or you can email me at dar at darwalden.com thank you and have a great week